Hello there, Sir from 17 once again. This is some bad business content, and I'm going to be giving you my first impressions and thoughts of the redesign of Area 51. This is, I believe, my second or third game on, on the map, playing King of the Hill, and I'm currently experimenting with all the weapons to feel the, the range nerfs, and I'm using the Scorpion Evo, which is a gun I really like, and I believe after this most recent adjustment to the damage ranges, to me this gun feels a little better. I always thought this gun was good, but it felt a little bit hit markery to me. I don't know if this was a good server, a lucky game, but it felt great in this one. Uh, as I push forward here to this this side. So let's talk about this, right? Area 51 is is a fan favourite. It, it's a map that originated in, in Roblox from way back when, in Bad Business I should say. And there's a lot of fondness from the people, from the OGs that played it. You know my thoughts if you've listened to my channel. I never liked Area 51, I still don't. I play it now because I'm at that point where I'm playing pretty much everything except for Rocket Facility. And I'll explain that in a separate video because I wish they'd redesign that level because it just doesn't work. But what happens in this game is when a map has existed for a decent amount of time, they release revisions of them, which is what you're watching right now as I'm getting just demolished in this central hangar area. And this is what they've done to this one. And they've also done it to Canal. And I thought when I saw this map, when I saw Ethan streaming and loading it up using his god powers and putting people into the lobby to check it out and do a bit of testing, I thought that it was going to work like a figure eight. I thought this area here was the center and I thought it would be framed on each side by warehouses like this one. I think this part of the map here is quite interesting and I think that the... My conception of what this was going to be was a more balanced map that would have played a lot better in King of the Hill. What we got, however, is a, a very creative and a very interesting and quite unique uh, asymmetrical map. So you have the central panopticon area where the hill is, which is that tower structure with the helical staircase, this bit here. And then you have this surrounding balcony that leads into a warren of caves that then skirt out into a gulch that is a re that like forms this perimeter around the back of the map. And it's very interesting, it really is, and it looks a hell of a lot more like what you could imagine Area 51 would look like now, so visually, it's pretty difficult to, to criticise, because they've gone in here, they've put flying saucers, they've put hangar buildings, they've put the, the crazy rock formations, this is kind of, you know, the, the mesas that you expect of that, that area. So visually and creatively, I think that the person that made this did a great job. And I believe it was, was it Finway, I think he's called? He seems like a cool dude, I watched him stream a little bit. And his map design, I don't know how to make maps in Roblox, I haven't looked into it. I'm definitely going to look into it because I'm curious. And he seems to be very adept and very fast at doing it, so touche to that man and thank you for supporting the game. But I have to critique this map, I really do. This map is way too defensible on King of the Hill if you do what I'm doing right now. So, when you have your average teammate on Bad Business, they will stand on the hill and they will all gather there, right? You can only cap the hill at the bottom, you can't cap it at the top, but if you hold the top and the bottom, you have a very, very decent uh, defense stood up, like a bulwark, a wall against any kind of intruder. And if you hold these two warehouse doorways that I'm running between here on this formation, the enemies have to flank on the left or right side. The left side leads to the balcony, and then the people in the tower can shoot them. The right hand side leads into the, the center again on ground level and the people at the floor can shoot them. So all you really have to do here is watch the catwalk, watch the two left hand sides and then watch the two hangar doors. And it takes one capable player to watch these two doors and even that catwalk because I can kill them before they get to it. And what happens is the map slows down. The map comes to a complete dead halt as the enemies get forced into this area here where they spawn in the outskirts and they die before they even get remotely close to the Panopticon to, to do what needs to be done. And it leads to a, a, just a willfully unbalanced mess. And it's disappointing to me because I feel like if if there'd have been a little bit more symmetry here, I know Roblox is not necessarily about symmetry, it's got symmetrical elements, but it does its it does its maps in its own way, and I respect that now, a lot more than I did when I first played. 
But I feel like if the other side of this wasn't that crazy warren leading up to the balconies, and if it was just another set of these warehouses, it would have made a lot more sense because you could have had the spawns be a bit more rigid, and it would have been two sides coming together to clash in the middle, and the middle could have been the complexity. The middle could have had all the, the creative elements, and the warehouses themselves could have just served as a function for spawning, and for making it so that no one has more of an advantage than another team. And admittedly, no one plays this game for it to be completely fair. This is not a competitive, crazy MLG tournament. This is a Roblox shooter that's super arcadey and incredibly fun. But look at where these people are spawning right now. The spawn logic here has noticed that our team has pushed too aggressively, so they're spawning them on mid. They're literally spawning them 10 yards away from the objective that they do not have. And to me, guys, when it comes... I know the spawning is very complicated and the programming is very difficult and there's no right answer and everyone will complain. You can't please everybody with it. But when you're spawning a player near the objective... It, like, I don't even have to explain why that's something that should not be happening. And admittedly, I wouldn't want them to be spawning on top of me where I am. Because if I'm in, in that outskirt area and they spawn on top of me, it becomes like old Area 51 where five dudes run around a corner and I can't do anything because they're all in spawn protection. But if there was that, that eye for symmetry here and they extended the other way, that wouldn't have been an issue because you could spawn them in those warehouses. But those caves, they're, they're essentially just a, a rail, aren't they? They're a rail system around the edge here, the lip, the rim of this room. And I don't see anybody going in them and fighting in them and I don't know why you would because that's the part of the map where it just becomes... Battlefield 5, and nobody wants that. At the same time, I've played a decent amount of this map, and as much as I think that it definitely has weaknesses and it's far too defensible, I do have fun on it, and I think that the intentions were in the right place. I just feel like when you introduce the player base to it, you see how things work, and in the PTR, you're probably seeing perhaps a higher level of, of player testing, and the high level players don't necessarily always see the low level tactics because that's what the beginner can teach the master and that's why it's so important to play people of all abilities that's the reason why skill based matchmaking is garbage because it forces you to play against the high ceiling people the whole time and you don't learn anything unique when you do that you just have to be fast and you have to play well and if you're in that bracket you're already doing both of those things this is interesting too I've not mentioned that before because you've never really seen it on a video too much but there are times when your body can collide through the wall and you can shoot those people and I wouldn't be surprised if they thought I was hacking when I did that but I'm gonna do it now I know it works it's not an exploit it's just if I can see your body I'm gonna shoot you but what do you guys think about area 51 guys do you like it do you hate it do you prefer legacy do you prefer the new one uh, I commend the intention and the design I just wish it was a little bit different thank you for watching and you take care now